Good afternoon. I'm so happy to see all of you. Today I have a little bit different thing to chant. Now today we're going to learn about something very unusual that I couldn't understand when I first saw the movie, Temple Grandin. This movie is all about one disease, one problem that some people get. This is the very first. This person, Temple Grandin, has a very silly voice. But don't make fun of that.
thing I want to also say is she suffered from being nervous. So the only thing she eat she eats are yogurt, um, pudding and jello. I don't know why, I don't understand that yet, but she does not like to eat very hardy beef dishes. So, uh, anyway, she can connect pictures. She has a wonderful brain. And she met a very good science teacher. His name was Dr. Carlson. She really enjoyed him. So, um, her mother looked like a nun, except she wasn't, her hair was very dark. It was quite beautiful. Anyway, we don't need to know that. Anyway, she is a very smart woman. And, as we've discussed mostly, everything we needed to discuss. So, um... That's about all. So, uh, that's all our notes taken. Now, let's move on to all the other stuff we need to do today. what I forgot I'm artistic 
not artistic like I'm an artist, but I'm artistic because I'm afraid of the buzzing, the playing, the popping, and also going underwater. I used to be afraid of automatic plush bathrooms. You know what? I was kind of like um, Temple Grandin myself. Because I was afraid of one or two automatic doors. But right now I think that's an extremely silly fear. Anyways. Temple Grandin was a very interesting woman. She could connect to her mind by memory. Even random things like shoes. Everyone has different talents. Everyone has different ways to get along. She does not understand sarcasm metaphors. She's very forceful. She's not like anyone else. She's the only person that has autism. Well, a few people have that. Let me look. Let me look for the way, uh, why Temple was a name. Let me see. Okay. No? That's the beginning here. Very, uh, shortly. Okay. Oh, here we are. Okay. <clears throat> so, Temple was a name from the Africans and the Egyptians. Temple was a very famous name because there was a queen. Her name was Queen Ospucius. She lived in a castle, and she loved the castle. The design was very Italian. Each room had different things, different pictures, different colors on the wall, different designs, different pots, pans, things like that. And they invented the game Temple Run because there was a bear. There was a very wild bear. It was a very wild bear indeed. Now the bear, no, 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 no. There was a guy. Unfortunately, he wasn't a pleasantist because he did have a shirt on, but he had black pants. He had red hair. And while he was eating a meal of, let me think, beef bourguignon, a beef stew, he sneezed, actually. He turned around and he said something. It was... No, 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 let me rephrase. Now, the sneeze was so unusual, it sounded like a bear. And he said that was unusual. And then he had a growling. And then someone said, was that you sneezing again? No, it wasn't me. And then he turned around, and then he screamed, and then he ran away. And then he disappeared all of a sudden, not to be seen ever again by anyone. They tried to look, but he got too far away. The bear was so scary. He had very scary teeth. He had a very long tongue. He was determined to get ahead of that bear. There was warriors in the castle that were, they had swords. And they were very, mm, they were very um, evil people. They hunted uh, animals. A lot of the bricks were tannish 
That is why it was called a temple. I hope you learned a lot. Because tomorrow we have a very busy day. Bye.